This one I call Drifting Consciousness. It has a long story. Started at least two years ago. Um, I ran out of, completely ran out of uh, painting material and I was desperate to paint. My framer had this piece of uh, framed uh, carpet. He used to display his framing materials. He just had this lying around. So it was sitting there for like half a year. I didn't do anything with it. I ran out of canvas. I had the carpet. Why not? I wanted to do a male nude. And I found the inspiration. I found the figure and the character I liked. And uh, I started with oil paint. Now it was an absolute disaster. The carpet just kept taking and taking and taking more and more oil. And I was never really being able to fill it and get the, the finished look that I wanted. The colors didn't work. Uh, I, st I started with uh, very bright colors and sort of placing him into like a universe. That's what That was my idea, but because it's carpet, I didn't get the detail, I couldn't blend it. Um, the way I wanted it was just an absolute disaster, but because I already put so much energy into it, I just couldn't leave it, I couldn't just move away from it. I had some good comments from friends and family on the, on the figure itself. Now, it had many, many different stages. Some people said they were better than this. So I decided to fill the carpet with resin, and I was hoping that once the fiber is filled with resin, that I should be able to work um, into it with, with acrylics and, and, and maybe like leave some of the original colors shining through the resin that I would be able to utilize. Now, after filling it with uh, resin, I decided to go over with a little bit of airbrush and my plan was to leave the original look still shining through the airbrush. Uh, I got a bit carried away and I still didn't like the colors. It was still clashing, the blues didn't work with the reds and the yellow didn't work with the blue and it was just a, another disaster. So. I just decided to cover it up. So some uh, some areas uh, you still see a tiny, tiny bit of color, reddish, little bit of pinkish still shining through. Now I kept pouring, spraying, pouring, spraying. I was quite happy with this depth. You can actually like look into the painting. There is somewhat a, an illusion that there is a depth in the painting that I quite enjoyed. And uh, this way, because I already filled the carpet and the, par and the carpet structure, I was able to spray uh, the details that I wanted to see. That very soft around uh, the beard, um, the, the detail of the eye, the detail of the little creases in the skin. I still wanted to see this universe around him, as, as him being in an unusual uh, space, that like kind of un undescribable space, like a universe, or being in his own head, being in his toe. And I thought that that's interesting, that's, that's why I, I decided to call him Drifting Consciousness where drifting from, from the consciousness of the real world into the internal world where consciousness is moldable. It's like it flows, it's, it's, it's like a gas. It, it's, um, it, it's light, it flows, it disappears, it's, it drifts. So I thought it worked for me. And uh, yeah, the airbrush work I still really enjoy. I think I, I achieved a, a good structure, a good um, anatomy under me and uh, a good finished look um, as it is so it's worth it <laughs> worth to take it to another level